now the latest news be this on top latest trending tv so of course our discussion is on, on social media especially on twitter it's been buzzing with nigerians giving different opinions you know on on this issue and it really arose when the veteran broadcaster uh, pt doche did say one or two things about how the men of these days in to, you know in his opinion he says the men of these days are terribly weak and you know and and that's why the women of today are not being as submissive as women during his time and let's not forget there, there was also this time when he was also you know on social media went viral then when he had something uh, you know uh, very very strong to say about men who got down on one knees to propose you know to uh, there will be wives and, and things like that and you know the discussion really has been uh for instance he's been married for 52 years right and that's a veteran not just because he's very popular not just because he's a superstar but also because he spent 52 years in the institution many young people are just getting into or you know aspiring to get into and the question is are people of that generation qualified to give advice you know about marital issues to the younger generation bearing in mind that they lived in different times and you know these are these are this is a different time you know are they really qualified to give that advice uh, that, that's what we're discussing because some people think they are not because i mean they are old school and their time is gone and you know they really don't understand the challenges the current generation face while there are people who i believe that yes they are qualified because the advice they're going to give is timeless and take it to the bank you know you just can't do away with that advice and so what's your opinion and why do you come to that conclusion if you drop your father's name to answer the name of your husband you are bound to be submissive to him how can a woman go out of the house in the morning come back in the night reeking of alcohol and the husband husband wants to know why she is late in coming home and what does she say if you know what is good for you just get out of my way let me go and sleep well they can afford to say that today because the men of today are very weak if he said it in our own time he will never be in one piece again i mean every word of what i'm saying we got married when men were men. Our I mean, women didn't insult us that way. The way women insult men these days, I begin to imagine. I mean, come on, it's not our character. What is good? Our I mean, women used to be beautiful things we loved. We envied. We loved to hold clothes. We loved to cuddle. Today they are turning into viragos, vixens. And after the advice, Yul Edochi, which is his son, disagrees with his fathers if i buy a car for my daughter i will give it to her to register in whatever name she likes yul educhi the son of pet educhi for a man and you have a lot of money your daughter is getting married you want to buy a car fine buy a car as a present for the family the new family Register that car in the name of your son-in-law. You are encouraging that marital relationship to last. Register the car in the name of your daughter. You break up that relationship before too long. Quote me. I tell you, this is a new generation. And his father is of that generation. And the question is, are people of that generation qualified to give advice about marital issues to the younger generation? bearing in mind that they lived in different times. Good evening. I'm Pastor Laura Idahoso, and I would like to render a sincere apology to Chief Pete Adoche and his family for the comment that I made on the Linda KG post on Instagram. It was never intended to cause you any embarrassment or harm. In fact, when I realized that it could be interpreted differently from what I intended to communicate, I quickly deleted the post. Unfortunately, it was screen grabs and it became a trending topic. I want to wish you well, sir, and to wish your family well. My sincere apologies for any embarrassment you may have felt by my comment. God bless you. For any young man who gets down on his knees to propose to a girl, he's not just an idiot. The bloody fool, the compound buffoon. And the reason why I'm saying it is simple. Why are you saying it? We try to copy white people, right? 
I believe in the subtle subject of our culture, the essence, the core of our culture. The white man kneels down to propose to a girl. You know what it means? The girl takes over the family. This is why whenever you disagree with your wife overseas, you are kicked out and your wife takes the house. Don't you people know that? The young man like you, who should ever be in charge of your destiny, you want everything about the women. That makes you all fools. So it's totally wrong for a man to go. It's love. I have lived with my wife for 51 years. Nobody has come to say, please stop beating this woman. Is it hatred that united us? It makes you an idiot. I believe many that is civilization. So just to show. It's all right. Kneel down before your wife. I will sympathize with you when she takes over the phone. <laughs> Some girls be like, there's no faithful guy. Faithful guys don't exist. How do you expect a guy who can use his money to get the only thing you are giving him from any other girl at any time to be faithful to you? How? Darling, faithful guys exist. The problem is that they are broke and girls don't like to date broke guys. Please my people don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and click your notification bell for more exclusive videos. God bless you.